hello there welcome back to the new video today we'll be looking into this paper which is titled as improving passage retrieval with zero shot question generation from researchers from mcgill miller meta ai google and university of washington so the problem statement that they're trying to solve is that let's say you have rack system right wherein you essentially have two steps the first is the retriever part the second is the generation part so they're trying to improve the retriever aspect of it by incorporating a sub step to this which is a re-ranking step so most of the times that you'll find like if you incorporate a re-ranker which essentially ranks whatever output you get from vector database and derive your new result sequence it usually adds a lot of advantage in terms of performance because inside vector database essentially you are calculating a vector based some sort of similarity measure and you are just outputting your candidate passages whereas the part of free ranker your implementation can vary and you can have cross encoders that considers your retrieved element as well as the query and gives out a score between 0 and 1 in terms of how relevant your query is to this retrieved result based on the cross attention of tokens you can either go about doing let's say llm based re-ranking wherein you give him all these retrieved set and ask LLM to re-rank and get you the newer set. And you can give in instructions like the result at the top should be most relevant to the given query and so on and so forth. So that's the central idea what they're trying to propose where they say like they incorporate a re-ranker that's based on the concept of generating questions in a zero-shot fashion. So let's see to what exactly this process looks like. So that's what they have written in the abstract. They're proposing effective re-ranking method to improve the passage retriever in open question answering systems. So they use a pre-trained language model to compute the probability of input question conditioned on the retrieved passage. Okay. So what we usually do is like we calculate the probability of a passage PI given the question. I mean, what all passages are having really high probability that should be returned for a given query. Whereas they try to model the other way around saying we try to generate questions given a passage PI. So ideally both of them should have a proportionality relation, right? Because if you because if you can get a relevant passage for a given question, then if you give similar passages, you should be able to get relevant questions from it. Okay. And what about the performance? So they say when evaluated on number of open domain retrieval datasets, their re-ranker improves strong unsupervised retrieval methods by 6 to 18 percent absolute and 12 percent from supervised models when calculated for top 20 passage retrievals. Okay, so let's jump onto the diagram and see what it's exactly doing. Okay, you have a question queue, you have all the documents that they call as evidence who use a retriever consider this to be let's say bm25 based similarity or or any sentence transformers based similarity and you get some top k passages now what you do is like you draft a prompt that looks like this wherein for passage colon you insert the passage content and then say please write a question based on this passage so you do this for all the k passages that you have retrieved as a part of first step then this goes to language model along with the original question and the model generates let's say q1 for p1 for p2 it will generate q2 for p3 it will generate q3 and so on and so forth and essentially if you look right how is this generation happening it's happening word by word so you know like what is the probability of q second word given what you've generated at q first and q0 so that way you get to calculate probability at every step. When you multiply it, you get the likelihood of the entire question, which is Q1 and similarly Q2 and similarly Q3. You sort based on this likelihood score. So for example, if Q2 is on the top, then maybe Q1, then Q3, which makes your passage ranking to be P2, P1 and P3, which originally was, let's say, P1, P2, P3. So that's the shuffling that the re-ranker has done based on the likelihood score of the questions generated from the passages retrieved. So yeah, that's the entire idea of the paper. Let's see if there's any other detail to it. Yeah, so this is the same thing, right? I mean, you're trying to generate question 
for a given passage and you do it at word by word level so you have model parameters and the passage and the words that you have generated till t minus 1 time steps and at every iteration you are generating the next word and then you normalize it based on the number of tokens that you have and for plm which is pre-trained language model you again have a choice of using any model till the point like you should have the capability of getting these probability numbers because eventually you'll have to calculate the likelihood score okay cool i think that's pretty much for this paper then they have experiments and they have some bar graph yeah so on two data sets which is natural questions and trivia qa for top 20 accuracy we are the re-ranked contriever is far better which is what roughly 13 points ahead and just little better over supervised method which is 0.8 but you have little better spread margins for trivia qa for supervised and unsupervised methods so clearly i mean this is something that you should definitely try in case you are trying to build such systems because working with supervised model can get a little messy because you because you'll have to put a lot of effort in terms of creating the training data for it so why not i mean we are living in the world of llms right so if you can use any open source llm that is cheap enough works for us nothing like it cool so i think we're done with this paper make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel do share it across with the friends to whosoever you think is dealing with rag and related systems i'll meet you soon in the next one bye bye and take care